Okay, so while everyone has been focused on the DeepSeek R1 out there, and NVIDIA shares have been crashing and markets have been changing, etc., the biggest lesson that should come out of this is the whole thing about open source basically advancing things. And not because of any one company doing it, because people are able to then take those open source models, learn the lessons from them, and then often fine tune them. We've seen this recently from DeepSeek, we've seen this from Quinn, but one of the companies that kicked all of this off really early on was Mistral. And today Mistral is back with their Mistral Small 3. This is a brand new model that they're releasing. Not only are they releasing a fine-tuned version, they're releasing the base version and it's all Apache 2 licensed, meaning that you can then use it for your fine tune. You can modify it. You can serve it on-prem. You can do all these things, just like back in the days of the Mistral 7B when it first came along and really took things like fine-tuning base models, doing model mergers, all this stuff at one stage was all the Mistral 7B model that people were using. The new Mistral Small is not 7B, right? This is a 24 billion parameter model. And they're claiming that this is competitive with Llama 3.370B and Quen 32B. And that for its size, this is basically a replacement for something like GPT-40 Mini. And while lately much of the focus has been on the reasoning models that like the R1, the O1, the O3, etc., Really, for most people, what they need is a really good workhorse model that is very powerful, but also very quick. And Mistral's 24 billion parameter model here is shaping up to be exactly that. So like I mentioned earlier, they've released the whole thing. This is it up on Hugging Face. We can see that they've released both the base model and the instruct model, as we can see here. We've got a full Apache 2 license here, allowing for usage modification, commercial, non-commercial. We've got a 32K context window out of the gate, meaning that we don't have to wait for people to fine tune this themselves with rope or something to get longer context, which I'm sure people will do and take it out to 64K or 128K. But the really good thing is that from the start, they've basically put out this 32K version here. So while it's not a fully hardcore multilingual model, they are supporting dozens of languages, mostly Western European languages, etc. But you've also got Chinese, Japanese, Korean in there. And some of the things that really make this interesting is that They've also heavily focused on the agentic uses of this. So basically this is for having things like native function calling, JSON structured outputs, etc. All of this sort of baked into the model from the start. Now, 24 billion parameters is a big model, right? That's not a tiny model by any standards, but it does seem that Mistral sort of realized that people are going to quantize this. And they seem to be going for that sweet spot where a quantized version of this will run on your laptop, allowing people to do sort of private chat and private rag, etc., without having to send any information at all to the cloud. But also this size seems that it can be deployed in the cloud and yet still get a very low latency, very high tokens per second out of this. Another really good thing to see in their blog post is their whole commitment to open source models. With a lot of companies releasing models that are not open weights models, it has a lot of people wondering, has this been getting towards the end of the open weights sort of movement? Now, clearly DeepSeek has shown that's not true. And Mistral is also showing that's not true in here. They actually talk in the blog post about renewing their commitment to using Apache 2 licenses and perhaps moving away from some of the other licenses that they've used in the past. All right, let's jump in and have a play with the model and see what it can do. Okay, so jumping into the code, I'm not going to go hugely into depth testing the model. I've just set up a quick collab where we can test out both the quality of the outputs, some function calling, some structured outputs, that kind of thing, to see how this goes. So you can access the model in two ways. You can either download it from Hugging Face and run it locally, or you can do what I'm doing here is running the model via their API in here. So you can see that the way to do this is pretty simple. If you want to use the Mistral SDK, etc., you can also get this going with Langchain very easily. I've just basically imported this into Langchain and we can see that we can try it out and it does very well. So just quickly going through these, 
definitely see what we see that the answers are putting out nice markdown, pretty good chain of thought, stuff like that. Remember, like I said earlier on, this is really a more a workhorse model than like your top tier model. The outputs are pretty quick, but they're also pretty thorough in here. And we can see that the data that the model's been trained on clearly is updated from previous models. We've got a lot more detail when we ask these questions of what's the difference between a llama, vacuna, and alpaca, etc. The model also does a pretty good job at adapting to other personas, etc. Here we can see the, the question I ask about, pretend you're a Freddy, a, a young five-year-old boy. It, it does that, no problem. Interestingly, when we ask it to be Kate, the vice president, it actually signs it off Kamala Harris. That one's a little bit off there. But one of the things I was really impressed is that while it will often give really long answers out, when you ask it specifically, hey, write out your short and succinct answer in here, you can see it just gives us a one word answer for what is the capital of England. And I think many of you know, that's one of the things that frustrated me with a lot of the models that even when you would tell it be super succinct, it would give you out a full sentence response or it would incorporate your question in here. So I really like that this is able to just quickly work out that, okay, we just want this short answer. Let's just give the one word out there. Has no problems with things like, can Jeffrey Hinton talk to George Washington? It also does a nice job on the storytelling being able to get that going as well. Definitely not as good as something like the Mistral Large or other models that are out there for that. But like I said, don't look at this as being necessarily the best, most intelligent model out there. This is going to be like your workhorse that replaces your sort of calls to GPT-40 Mini to a sort of flash model, etc. GSM 8K, it handles each of these really nicely, gets the correct answer for all of them and gives us nice, simple chain of thought out for these, not overly complex and stuff in there. All right, if we try it for things like structured output, so just taking the LangChain structured output examples here, and you can see that when we run this through, it's able to do a very good job at working out, pulling out the different things, returning the structured output the way that we want it and stuff in there. Also for function calling, it does a nice job as well. Now I'd probably play with the system prompt a little bit more for that. I found that if I asked it too easy in a question, it tries to just give you the right answer in this case where we've got, got adding integers and multiplying integers here. But when I give it something a little bit harder, sure enough, it then is able to call the function. It's able to get the arguments right and deal with that. The same with multiple function calls here. So you can see here, we've got what is three times 12. Also, what is 11 and 49? You see this calling the tools. It's making the right calls to basically get those things out there. So overall, I would say this model is definitely worth you checking out. I haven't touched anything on the fine tuning and stuff like that, but it shows a lot of promise to do fine tuning there. My guess is that we're going to see a number of sort of fine tunes of this come out. And especially with being able to run this with Olama, you're then going to be able to get, you know, all the benefits out of that as well. If you're running it locally, if you wanted to do a local rag system or a local chatbot, etc. So overall, a very promising model from Mistral. Great to see them back releasing, you know, open source base models as well as the instruct models. And great to see them stepping up and championing the sort of whole open weights movement again by contributing good base models that people can use for fine tuning. All right, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What are the key things you would like to use this for? I do think we're moving to a world now where you will have expensive models for certain calls and much cheaper models that you will use for sort of 80% of the work that you would do. This is something that is becoming clear and I think it's going to become even more prevalent as we see some of these newer, bigger models coming out over the next couple of months. All right. As always, if you found the video useful, please click like and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.